By 18 straight wins in the talk of the American Hockey League, the Norfolk Admirals have proven this season they are a team with a lot of fight. On this week's edition of Wreck on the Road, we take a closer look at the art of the hockey fight. Norfolk Admirals tough guy Eric Nielsen is quick to drop the gloves. He is considered the Admirals enforcer. When it's time to protect a player or send a message, Nielsen doesn't hesitate. Back in the day, hockey fighters were called goons or tough guys, but not today. I wouldn't say it's a designated tough guy anymore. Maybe 20 years ago, I think that term was used. Now it's more of a, an energy guy. Um, fighting, as you know, it's getting less and less in the game. You don't have those guys that sit on the bench and not play anymore. You have to be able to play the game as well as stand up for your teammates and yourself. Creating energy out there, whether it's a hit, whether it's a fight, you know, driving hard to the net. And uh, that, I'd say that's my role on the team. There is plenty of strategy involved with a hockey fight. Nielsen does research before each game and studies the other team's tough guy. He even practices his fights during workouts. Square off like this, I try to get him. Look if he's a righty or a lefty, he's a righty. Oh, and then he switches left. So I read that, I look in his eyes, see if he's gonna come in when he comes in with a punch. Or grab like that, and then you tie up. And then you look for an opportunity. Maybe throw a right. Maybe throw a left. At 6'1", 215 pounds, Nielsen is considered small for an enforcer, but that's not a problem for the New Brunswick Canada native. A lot of the guys I fight are 6'3", 6'5", uh, you know, we got 20 pounds or so on me, but uh, there's certain techniques that I use against certain guys that, uh, that I find work for me, and, and like I said before, there's ways you protect yourself, but just part of, the, part of the job, and I like to say the bigger they are, the harder they fall, but that's not necessarily the case all the time. Nielsen says despite trading punches, there are no hard feelings, and in fact, it's not uncommon to later on share a beer with the same guy he's fighting. It's zero personal. I mean, I have guys that I fought. My friends will go for a beer after and, uh, you know, say good fight. You, know, you got me with one, you tag me with that one pretty good. Or it's just part of the job. It's a job. Yes, these tough guys may be a menace on the ice, but some of the nicest guys off of it. I don't know why that is, but I'll tell you, I've never met a guy that, uh, you know, inside the 200 by 85 will, uh, will fight like a gladiator and then come off the ice uh, when he's out of the environment and be the first one to pick up a child or sign an autograph or go visit a hospital and see a sick child. Uh, it's an unreal trait that these guys have and uh, um, I'll tell you, it's, um, our game is much better with these guys in it just because of the, the human beings they are off the ice. Yeah, you know, you ask 10 fans what they like best about hockey games, 9 out of 10 are going to say the fights. And uh, I think it's great. I think it's, it creates a good atmosphere. I know a lot of fans enjoy it. Um, obviously, you never want to see anybody get hurt, but that's part of the game. You know, a lot of people that like hockey like that rough stuff, the hitting, the fighting, the intensity that it brings. Hey, the Norfolk Admirals are back home this weekend taking on the Albany Devils this Friday and Saturday night at Scope. Get your tickets today by liking on to NorfolkAdmirals.com. And if you like hockey fights last night, the Devils and Rangers dropped the, the uh, pads right at the opening faceoff. Six like guys that. went at it for a uh -huh. long, long time. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens. And as Eric Nielsen said, they're not goons or tough guys. They're energy guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're energy.